<laughs> Love it, man. <Matt. laughs> oh. oh, it's going to do it back. Ugh. Here, do you want to know how you make a bit of money? Corn grows out of the fucking ground. <laughs> Don't know if you've seen that sketch, but it's worth a watch. Um, yeah, man, they harvested the corn that I nearly landed in the other day. So I had a little scavenge and it took me about a minute to glean three beautiful sweet corns. There must be hundreds left in there still. It's crazy. Yum. It's a beautiful day on top of the hill here at Kronplatz. Um, that building over there turns out it's a museum of mountain photography. So I'm going to have a very quick look in there. And then I'm going to get launched. Uh, it's looking like a better day than the other day. There's some paragliders going down, but there's some staying up. There's even a tandem that was making a bit of height. So there's a chance. I just hope I don't mess it up. It's going to be potluck, I reckon, or maybe a bit of skill. We shall see. Wish me luck. If I can stay up for an hour, I'll be well happy. Enjoy the views. Let's check this museum out. 14 euros. Nah. little survival boffy right at the top been here since 1972 would have been here before any of this probably it would have been a very lonely place up here before the ski lifts not even a fire a lot of the snow got mel uh, melted off with by the rain just the highest peaks. Still got snow. So it looks like these thermals are coming in cycles, quite weak. All the powers have gone down. So I'm gonna have to time it well and expect to only stay up for a short time, I reckon, today. Hopefully it'll get a bit better, but might might get weaker, who knows? easy 
to say with hindsight, but I reckon if I'd have dared to turn back into the hill here, I probably could have stayed up, but I was just trying to be super safe. Because if it's strong, you don't want to get tipped into the hill, but it was so weak, I probably could have turned close and got on top. But hey, hopefully I'll have learned by next time. is probably the last flight of the trip because um, after this I just got bored of top to bottom and finally accepted that it's the end of the season because there's no thermals really anywhere and especially with the weather being so crappy at the moment so that's probably all the flying now till next year or till I get back to the UK anyway I'm just so glad I got that really good flight in at Leveno otherwise I'd be really disappointed I think I did have quite high expectations of flying in Europe and the Alps, but I came, just happened to come on the worst season I think I've ever had. <laughs> worst autumn at least. Oh well, I'll come back next year. sunny in the end. Managed to stay up for a couple of minutes, better than zero minutes. That was nice, nice slow glide down. Ah, good landing, all good. Well that was all right, it took the whole day though. The faff to fun ratio was all out today. <clears throat> I need to go and find some proper good sunshine, I think. Stronger thermals. Well, the next few days are cloudy here, but I've got to hang around and wait for this SIM card that still hasn't arrived. So, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for a few days. Um, I need to tell you about yesterday, man. I went to the... because today was a... yesterday was a washout. Um, so I went to the local sauna centre, which is just over the road there, and it was absolutely amazing. I've never known anything like it. 
35 euros and you can spend the whole day there. They've got jacuzzis, swimming pools, those fun pools, you know, with the slide and the whirlpool uh, and the, um, and the uh, all these crazy things. And uh, seven saunas, seven different types of sauna, two different types of steam room with aromatherapy, plunge pool, frickin' and there's these relaxation rooms that you can go in. And they're the most chilled out places I've ever been to. Like you go in and it's just silence. And there's people just chilling on chairs. There's these chairs that are already comfy, but they tip back 90 degrees, so your legs are in the air. And you just lie there like, ah. Oh blessing out and there's like infrared beds where you just lie there and the infrared bulbs are there and there's just loads of stuff I could go on um, and there's there's like actual beds like full-size circular beds that have got like covers over them and curtains and there's people just curled up snoozing so it's just for 35 euros it's just ridiculous and I found out uh, in there that Apparently that one is the best one in Italy and the third best in Europe, so I struck lucky there, I think. Um, yeah, so I spent 11 hours and 59 minutes, it told me, when I was on the way out. <laughs> um, you know, it was great. Oh, wow. Restaurant standard. Bon appetito! Bon appetito! Ah, oh, there go my mates, Jeff and Kirsty. Spent a f couple of days with them now, a few days. Really nice couple from uh, Sheffield, but living on the west coast of Scotland. Looking for a bit of land um, to base themselves. Um, and then they've, they've been doing van life for two years. And then they would, yeah, so I might go and meet them in Scotland, they'll be there when I might go Scotland in the spring. Yeah, really nice couple, we've had some awesome conversations. I went around theirs for dinner one night, brought a bottle of wine, and then last night I made a veg curry and they supplied the beer. And we were, God, we talked about everything, freaking metaphysics, quantum mechanics, spirituality. Frickin' the simulation theory, David Icke, social change and cryptocurrency and God, everything. We covered it all. Anyway, just gonna hang out here for one more day, get some stuff done. I'm trying to fix the um, speaker that's broken, my little Bluetooth speaker. Might have to buy a new one. Uh, gonna do a bit of work, uh, a bit of this, a bit of that, and hope for some flyable weather on Tuesday. Tomorrow won't be good, but we'll see. Anyway, yeah, ciao for now. Bye! Hey, you want to make a bit of money? You should do what I did. Get into farming. See this? I got this selling corn. Comes out of the fucking ground. I couldn't believe it. You see that? It's made of chicken. It's actually made of chicken. You kill it, you got free chicken. You can sell it to people. Or don't kill it. Fucking eggs come out of their arses. Fucking hell. You know sheep? Bit woolly. It's wool! Pull it off, sell it. Fucking grows back again. You cannot lose. Brilliant. Don't even need an alarm clock. <sighs> Unbelievable. It's only five in the morning and I'm right where I work. And while the other poor sod's struggling in on the tube, I'm going to go and get some milk out of a cow. Who's a jammy bastard? Look at all this milk. I'm gonna make a fucking fortune.